Hello everyone. Um, so I, I wanted to show you a, a production tip about basically how to create um, baseline patterns, melodic patterns, um, using a tool I made, um, which kind of simplifies the process. Um, so I've created this instrument rack, um, which basically helps if you're like lacking some inspiration or you're maybe struggling to kind of write that baseline that, that fits into the vibe of your track. Um, so we might not all be that bad at it, but it might just be a time where we either have no idea what we want from our baselines or we're just not able to draw it in ourselves. Um, so this tool is kind of like a, a pattern generator, which can be used for bases or even um, in melodic patterns. Um, So these were two patterns that I've used for the tool. And I'll just kind of try and recreate something similar. Um, so I've got this basic drum loop with some synths. So yeah, but these were created using the tool, um, so I'll just mute them so that I can do something similar from scratch. Um, so firstly, this down here is the tool. Um, it's basically an instrument rack, which you can typically find uh, in here. And you can download it from my website after the video. Um, and basically drop it in your user library. So it's essentially an instrument rack um, with some MIDI effects in there as well. Um, so firstly, you've got like MIDI generation, just like a Max for Live device, which basically generates those patterns for you. Um, and then you've got a, t a tool that I created, which basically makes sure that pattern stays in key or any of your MIDI patterns stay in the key you select. So I've selected E minor because the synth loops I used were in E minor, so selected it for that reason. What the key is basically the key I'm going for. Um, and then finally, um, what makes it an instrument rack is the fact that you have to drop an instrument in there. So this could be a, one of Ableton's software plugins or an external third party. Um, so I'll use it analog because most people have analog that have Ableton. All right, so like normally you have to reset it once you alter its key. So you can play with the how density is basically how how much is going on in the loop. Let me just turn that down. So because we're going for like a minimal vibe, if if I had like an acid loop or something I wanted to be a bit more busy, I'd maybe do that, but I want this bass line to be quite stripped back. You can maybe add some swing. I'll just alter these settings as well, so it doesn't sound as... So yeah, obviously you can play with the settings and dial them in further to taste. So 
yeah, you could even have like a script get yeah, quite complicated. You could, I don't think you can, or you can automate it. You can automate this even. You can get very fancy. You can automate this. And then have it stripped back. Getting too fancy now. So yeah, we've got something that works. Um, then what I'd probably do is I'd, um, I'd bounce the pattern out. MIDI, which gives you more um, more precise control. So you would do post effects, you would do this, and then you would just bounce it out. So there you've got your your MIDI generated loop, which you can now visualize and you can make further tweaks to. Um, add extra notes, reduce notes, that kind of thing. Um, so you could either drop that existing instrument, note settings down like that, or you could move it up and take the MIDI generation off and the key off because it's been bounced in key. So yeah, there, there's the rack, and then if I was to get rid of the rack and completely replace it with another instrument, um, this is kind of another potential use for it. Um, so if I was to go for the Mini V or something by Arteria, just sticking with the same. No. You could basically, you can't, you might not be able to hear some of them that well, but you could essentially um, road test your plugin and um, your presets for different plugins. Um, you could either do that once you bounce the pattern out, or you could do it while you're generating the pattern instead of using analog like I did. You could flip through some presets once you had quite a nice pattern. Um, and it's essentially a quicker way of gaining inspiration than like looking for your presets first and then drawing in the pattern. It basically provides context for that preset. It's a terrible, terrible preset, but you can kind of see where I'm getting at. Um, if I mute this, I'll use the original. So that's how I would do it for the baseline. Um, for like a melodic pattern, the principle is quite similar. Um, so I'd have the pattern, I'd have the key. I'd pitch it up, maybe, and um, I'd potentially throw in. So yeah, you can kind of see how you can use this tool for both baselines and melodic patterns. Um, and the possibilities with it are endless. So I, I just thought I'd share this tip and if anyone wants to check out the tool, they can from the website and the link in the description. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hope that helped.